Hey everyone, it's me Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are building a modern colonial family home. Um, at least that's what I called it. So it's just kind of like a colonial style home, but it's been updated so it has some more like contemporary aspects. Um, looking back on it, I probably should have just called it a contemporary colonial family home, um, but I didn't. So here we are. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun building this house. Um, it is lightly based off of some houses that I saw. Um, it's not like based on one particular house. I kind of just looked at some inspiration photos and kind of just made a, a an amalgamation of all of those, I guess. Um, so yeah, it's, it was really, really fun to make. Um, so I just started off with like this really traditional colonial shape that you're seeing right now. And then I just kind of added some fancier windows and you'll see when we get to the interior that it's very updated and very clean and sleek and nice. And I just had a lot of fun making this house. Um, I wanna say that it has about four bedrooms. Um, that sounds right anyways. Um, I, honestly, I built this several days ago and I don't really remember how many bedrooms it has, but I want to say that it's four bedrooms, three bathrooms. But um, I mean, you know, if it's not, I will correct myself later when we get onto the interior. Um, once again, I did skip the layout of this house, so you won't see that in this video. Um, I haven't been leaving the layouts in my videos recently, if you haven't noticed, um, just because it takes me a really long time and usually if my videos are kind of long, I like to cut them down by getting rid of the layout just because that typically just takes a long time and so if I, you know, if I try, I'm trying to make a video shorter, then that's usually the first thing that I go to get rid of. So yeah. Um, basically one of the reasons that I built this house is because I really wanted to use these Moschino windows that you're seeing right now. Um, I changed the location of them and I, in fact I actually changed um, the windows a lot. I had a lot of trouble trying to figure out which windows and doors to use and where to put them and all that stuff but I was really wanting to use those windows because I just got Moschino stuff. Um, if you guys didn't know, I honestly only have a few of the packs. Um, if you guys want to know what packs I have, I can totally just list them off right now. But um, I don't have very many packs. But I did recently just take advantage of the sale that Origin is having on Sims packs. So I got uh, Get Together, Jungle Adventure, and Mosquito stuff. I did like the little bundle thing that you can do. And honestly, so happy I did that. Um, I'm really glad that I have more packs now. And um, honestly, I really wish that I had all of them. But, you know, we'll get there. We will. We'll get there. <laughs> so, yeah, I, just, I really wanted to use those Moschino windows. And I also really wanted to use the floors from Jungle Adventure. So I wanted it to be more of like a contemporary home. But I also do love me a good colonial. So... Here we are. Um, but yeah, you will see that the kind of foundation of the house has really just come together already. And now I am just kind of figuring out what windows I want to use. And you will see that I used a combination of the base game windows with the shutters, the uh, Moschino windows that I wanted to use, and those other windows that come with Get Together. Um, and then I'm, now I'm just kind of tricking to the, the, the hello <laughs> I'm trying to figure out um, which windows to use over on the sides and I end up just going with those mosquito windows again I kind of wanted to make that side bit like a garage or something but I ended up I think yeah that ended up being the master bedroom so yeah <laughs> um, but yeah and honestly I love it one reason that I didn't make that a garage was because it just had so many windows in it and I feel like you typically don't have a whole lot of windows going into your garage so I was like I'm just gonna make that into like a living room or a bedroom or something like that um, so I did and you will see that I am doing these little outlines for like a garden because I wanted to just have like the um, the all of the landscaping in this house I wanted to have it like contained in you know like a fence sort of thing that you're seeing right now so I used this base game fence and I just filled it in with dirt and then put the landscaping in there um, the only problem is that when I uh, put the foundation on the house 
the um, the fencing also went up into a foundation so we got rid of the terrain paint and uh, when I tried to get rid of the foundation you know like disconnect the fence from the actual foundation then raise the foundation up and then put the fence back if that makes any sense I hope it does um, it just it was like giving me trouble it was like conflicting block clusters or something like that so ultimately I just kind of gave up on the idea and I kept the general like shape of the fences but I just deleted the fences so you will see me do that <laughs> eventually um, I actually had fun landscaping this build. I used those nice yellow hydrangeas and I thought they were really pretty. Um, I used a lot of yellow flowers and some pink flowers like right there. Um, and yeah, I just, I love landscaping this, which is kind of a shocker coming from me because if you guys don't know, I hate landscaping. And it's mainly just because I always have a really hard time like looking through debug and deciding which bushes to use and deciding which flowers to use and deciding which trees to use. It's just so frustrating for me, you know? Like, I just, I don't have a good time with it. So usually when it comes to landscaping, I really am just, no, I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and I think I would just like it more if debug was like easier to sort through, um, but it's okay, you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, we, we do what we can, so yeah. Um, I feel like I should note really quickly that the balconies that you see, um, that you see me doing right now, those bottom, they're like double decker, you know, like two stories of balconies, the bottom stories of both balconies are accessible. So there's a front porch and a back porch. However, the top floors are not. So I just put windows out onto those. Um, I hope that's not an issue. I I just, you know, it was kind of a stylistic thing. So hope that's okay. But now you will see that we are onto the in interior. So I skipped the floor plan and um, skipped me like picking out the um, flooring and the wallpapers and the stairs and everything. So we're just all on to furnishing. So here we go, <laughs> I guess. Um, here I am doing the entryway. I am just doing that little table right there with some flowers, some books, and a lamp, as well as that mirror from, I think it's from Seasons. Um, above it, I adore that mirror. I use it whenever I can. It's just the only problem is that sometimes I feel like it's a little bit too high on the wall. So sometimes it just doesn't work with like certain tables and stuff. Um, but here it actually worked out pretty nicely, so I'm happy about that. Um, and then here I'm using this bookshelf, which I also think is from Seasons. Um, I actually use this bookshelf quite a bit, especially when I do um, houses with like medium wall heights because this is like a really tall bookshelf. Um, and I really enjoy using this bookshelf and I love adding more clutter objects to it. I think that's just really fun and I just have a good time, you know adding some stuff, making it just look more lived in, I guess, you know, like maybe the family puts, you know, their books or maybe like things that they take when they leave the house and stuff like that. I just, I thought that was cute. I don't know. So now we're moving on to the kitchen and I did use the Jungle Adventure countertops, especially considering the fact that I just got Jungle Adventure. I was very excited to use these. Um, I see them all the time in builds and it makes me really jealous. I really wanted to use them. So now I do get to use them and I'm very excited about that. Um, also, can I just say that I'm in love with the floors in Jungle Adventure. Like the wood floors that I have down. I just, I know that everyone's in love with them, but I am also in love with them. Like they're just so good. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't, they're just, I always wondered why people loved those floors so much and I, I was like, you know, like maybe they they just look better in the game and it's true, they do. They do look better in the game. Like, I mean, they look great on video too, but they just look so good and I adore them and yeah, I, what can I say? <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm just cluttering up the kitchen. I actually didn't clutter the kitchen up a whole lot, you know, um... Typically, I tend to go kind of overboard with the clutter in kitchens, and this time I honestly feel like I didn't, you know? It's just, it's like an averagely cluttered kitchen, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm kind of rambling a lot in this video, I'm sorry. 
Um, it is almost midnight as I am recording this, um, and I just kind of got like a burst of energy, so I was like, hey, let's do a voiceover, hee <laughs> hee. Um, but I'm tired, a little delirious. I actually took like a two hour nap today, um, so I shouldn't be tired, but I am, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, so if you're wondering why I'm like rambling and overall just sound like an insane person, that's why. <laughs> um, but now I'm moving on to this little dining area. Um, this house does have a proper dining room. However, I did just keep this little like breakfast nook maybe in the corner and I really think it's really cute and I would love to sit there and like eat breakfast in the morning. So that's fun. And now we're moving on to the living room. I love this living room so much. Um, it's actually like a really nice size and shape. I feel like whenever I do living rooms in houses, I always either end up with a small living room or with a oddly shaped living room or, you know, something's wrong. But this living room just seemed to work out. Um, there's a perfect place for a fireplace and some couches and a bookshelf. And, you know, it's just, it worked out so nicely and it made me very happy. <laughs> so... Here I am just cluttering up the top of the fireplace with some bookshelves and a plant and some candles and a picture and I even got to put a little chair in the corner um, so that the whole area just has a nice sense of, I guess, community so you can sit and watch TV or you can sit and talk with friends or family and it's just really nice and I use this rug which I love so much in just that swatch. It's like a greeny blue kind of color and I never use it in that swatch but I figured that since most of the furniture in the living room is pretty like beige and toned down that I could use a nice pop of color in the rug so I did that and then I used that nice chandelier which I believe is from Get to Work. I'm not sure though. Um, don't quote me on that and then you'll probably see that I put a cat tree in that little nook over um, kind of by the front not, not the front door, the back door. Um, so I figured that this family maybe had a cat. They could even have a dog, actually. I only put one pet food bowl, but they could have a dog if you wanted them to. I just figured that they had a cat, so I put a lot of cat objects. I put a bed in the parents' bedroom, and again, you saw that cat tree. And then I think that the teens' room actually has like a scratching post in it as well. Don't quote me on that. Um, when we get to the teens' room, I will verify that. <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of made this house to be oriented towards, you know, a cat-loving family. But again, they could also have a dog because dogs don't really require as many objects um, as cats do. I, I mean, I guess you do need toys. Um, which I didn't do. Um, oh, I just noticed that I got a text in the middle of this video. Ignore that. It was from my mom. Um, but yeah, now we're moving on to the master bedroom. You probably just saw me do the dining room, which is really simple. It's just kind of long and narrow and just has a nice big dining area. So you can use a dining space in the kitchen for like just informal, casual eating purposes and then you can use that nice big dining room for maybe like family get-togethers or you know like holidays things like that so I just figured that that would be nice uh come in handy for things like that because I figured that you know this is probably a very like family oriented family <laughs> a family oriented family but like you know just a family that has like a big family you know they have a lot of a big family they have a lot of people so you know maybe everyone comes over to this house for holidays and there's just a ton of people and it's really crowded and it's this whole thing um that's what I was thinking anyways um but you know you can you know put whatever family you want in here I made this house for um two parents I was thinking maybe like two moms and then um Let's see, a teenage daughter, a child aged son, and a toddler boy, I believe. I, I'm not sure, <laughs> actually. I might have to double check that. Um, but again, it's been a while <laughs> since I've 
built this, so you're gonna have to forgive me for, you know, forgetting a little bit, but I believe that it's, I know it's three kids, but I believe that it's one daughter and two sons, but again, we will, <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We're both, we're both watching this for the first time, I guess, <laughs> really, so that's fun. <laughs> So now I'm just kind of working on this back deck area. I added a barbecue and a place to sit and just a little potted plant. And then underneath the tree, I added some lounge chairs and I believe I added a swing set. Um, yes. And then I also have a pool and I added a diving board, which I was so excited about because obviously diving boards come with get together. So I got to have a diving board, which is really fun never never used a diving board in the sims 4 before so that's fun i remember that when the sims 3 came out everyone was complaining about the fact that the base game didn't come with diving boards was it diving boards or ladders i don't remember i think it was diving boards everyone was complaining about the fact that the um, base game didn't come with diving boards and then the sims 4 came out and we didn't even have pools in the base game like that was like really funny to me just they were like, oh, you're complaining about no diving boards? Well, we'll give you something to complain about. Like, I don't know. That's, like, really funny. But I remember when the game came out, I was, like, really frustrated. I was like, why Why are there no pools? Like, what is this? I, I just remember when The Sims 4 came out, it was really frustrating to me. Just the fact that there was no toddlers, there was no pools. I, for the longest time, was just, I had my mind set to, like, The Sims 3 is the by far a superior Sims game this Sims game, this Sims 4, it sucks. I hate it. And for the longest time, that was my mindset. I remember literally for like a year and a half, I just stopped playing the Sims 4. Like I boycotted the Sims 4. I was like, I'm not playing this. It's not good. And now I am completely obsessed. I never play the Sims 3 anymore. And it's honestly most likely because I play the Sims on a MacBook Air. So obviously... You know, sometimes even The Sims 4 doesn't run very well on this computer, so let alone The Sims 3, which doesn't run on anyone's computer, unless you have an absolute beast of a computer, because if you guys don't know, The Sims 3 is so laggy. It's so, so, so laggy. It's just, it's impossible for any computer to run The Sims 3. Um, sorry about that little tangent. I just had to talk about The Sims 3 for a second. Um... You'll see me working on this little, like, landing area. I had, like, an open landing, which I thought was really nice, and so I just decided to have that area be, like, a family room, so I put a really big TV with a video gaming thingy <laughs> and a nice comfy couch and just some cutesy little decorations, and I don't like the llama table, and I just figured that that was just a nice place for the whole family to hang out and... I don't know. I just thought it was cute. Like, I was thinking that the living room downstairs was probably more of, like, a formal sitting area. Like, the whole family sits there, you know, to have a conversation or whatever. You know, that's where company would sit if they came over. Whereas this upstairs landing area is more of just, like, a place for everyone to sit. It's, like, a casual, like, let's play some video games or, like, let's watch some TV kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm working on the bathrooms. I did all the bathrooms at once, um, as well as the laundry room, which is also upstairs. Um, so I just, I did all of that in, at once because I just used all the same, like, furniture and everything. All the same appliances and whatnot, so I figured might as well just do everything at the same time. So, yeah, you will, okay, no, never mind. I was about to say I think I forgot to put a toddler potty in here, but I did, so... Don't, don't even worry about it, guys. I'm a pro. I remember toddler potties. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, and then also, if you guys didn't notice, I put hampers in this build and it wasn't an afterthought. <laughs> um, you should be proud of me because I always forget to put hampers in my builds. Like, I always just totally blank on putting hampers in my houses. Like, I will make the entire house and then I'll have to add... The hampers like last minute but I put them everywhere in this house first try I didn't even have to think about it like I'm getting so good at this whole hamper thing like I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> I'm sorry that's so lame um but now I'm working on the teens bedroom which I think is really cute it's pretty simple it's not very 
cluttered, I guess. I was thinking maybe this teenager, she kind of has her life together. <laughs> she kind of knows what she's doing, you know. Um, I was thinking maybe she wants to be a vet, a veterinarian. Um, I didn't really put any items to symbolize that in here, I'm not going to lie. I was just thinking that maybe it was like her idea to get the cat. Like she's the one who really takes care of the cat in the family. Maybe she really wants to get a dog, maybe, you know, she really wants to get other pets, but her parents are like, no, we have too much to deal with already, um, but, you know, maybe maybe when she grows up, she can get all the pets, <laughs> you know, she'll run a vet, and she'll have, like, 27 cats and 30 dogs, I don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean, she's just one of those people who just loves animals, and maybe even if she doesn't want to be a vet, she just, she's gonna have a lot of pets when, you know, uh, so now I'm moving on to the first boy's bedroom. Um, so this is a child boy's bedroom. Uh, now I remember which sims I had living in this house. It was a, so a teen girl, a child boy, and a toddler boy. Um, took me a while, but I remembered. So now I'm working on the boy, the child boy's bedroom. And honestly, I kind of just want like a stereotypical, like, sports fanatic bedroom you know like he's really into orange and blue if you couldn't already tell and he loves sports he loves art he loves reading he's just a pretty normal kid you know um maybe he doesn't know exactly what he wants to do in his life yet he's just kind of exploring everything but honestly at this point in time he probably wants to be like a professional athlete of some sort maybe a bodybuilder I don't really know but Either way, he's just kind of exploring, figuring out himself and everything. Uh, and now I'm moving on to the last bedroom, which is the toddler's bedroom. I just made it like a pretty stereotypical room. I was thinking that it was a male toddler, but you could easily make this a female toddler. Honestly, I feel like toddler rooms are hard to make like fit to a certain gender because toddlers are toddlers, you know, they're just kids. <laughs> Um, but, but we are moving on to the screenshots, so I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed doing this voiceover, even though it's really long, and I am so exhausted now, and literally from talking for 25 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I know I had a, a whole lot of fun making it, so I encourage you guys to like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone!